looking for ideas to style your shelves in the bathroom? Stay tuned. guys I'm so glad you tuned in if you're new to my channel or even if you're returning hello and welcome back today on creative glam I'm going to share with you floating shelf wall decor ideas I've got three different looks from three different bathrooms I enjoy styling shelves it's a very personal and creative outlet I think that it can be inexpensive because you can take items from around your home you can actually shop your home and come up with some really great vignettes for free Recently, I had the opportunity to get some floating shelves hung in my bathrooms. My husband hung those shelves for me, as I'll show you. I'm going to share the styling of those shelves with you today. He did four bathrooms, but I'm only going to share three bathrooms today, plus the corner shelf in my office. So, let me show you what I did. The shelves are forever changing because, because you can get instant gratification by moving one item and placing another item. You can change up a look really quick, uh, whether it's for the season or because it's Tuesday. And I can walk past it and change it up again. The way I have these shelves right now may not look this way in two weeks. Um, <laughs> So uh, it's an ongoing process and it changes along with me. And I think that's why I see it as a very creative and personal art form outlet. Those two candle holders up at the very top I got from Home Goods. In the framed art, there's three of them. I got those. Um, I got those online. They were free downloads that I got online, and I put them in a Dollar Tree frame. The washcloths up in the top, I got those from Home Goods. I don't remember what I paid for them. Um, I've had them for quite a while, but I thought they were really pretty. And then behind that, I had a reed air freshener and uh, that's uh, and I believe it's rose the scent in that one is rose further down I have an aromatherapy candle one of the old lavender and chamomile uh, aromatherapy candles from Bath and Body Works they've discontinued them um, but I kept that jar because it was so pretty and it was one it was my my signature scent before I went to cashmere plum um, the white vase in the center I got that from home goods too I believe I did and the flowers in the top are just some random um, silk flowers that I had, some random silk flowers that I already had. And down on the bottom shelf down here is a um, is an apothecary jar. I downloaded the label and printed it out. I placed it on the apothecary jar and I filled that jar with Epsom salt. Uh, the plant in the middle, I believe, I, I, <laughs> I believe. I believe I got that from TJ Maxx. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's where I got it from. And again, there's another uh, candle holder that I had got from Home Goods. And that's uh, and then next to that is the third print in that collection that I downloaded from online. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Smile is like light dancing in the night. So come on, 
In here, in the basement bathroom, Sharon, put that in the front before you begin to talk about it. I downloaded that wreath image and the background that it's on online, and I placed that in a Dollar Tree frame as well. And most of the decor pieces that you see here came from Home Goods. So the air plant sitting in the side, that little vase came from um, Home Goods. The little pedestal that it's sitting on is something that I DIY'd myself and added some bling to it. This vase here, you've seen this before. Um, this was a part of my tablescape. No, actually it was the coffee table. Well, actually it was both because I have more than one. This was a part of my coffee table uh, collab that I did. My spring coffee table decor. Um, I got that from Home Goods. Home, home Goods or Home Sense? One of the two. And then down here below is a pick of a succulent and another vase that I just pretty much kept it empty in a box frame of a succulent and then the Bible, the New Testament only. And then these here are something that I already had. I just uh, painted them all silver. They were all black and I painted them all a uniform color and uh, put it, you know, made a collage on the wall here in the basement bathroom. And here in the um, guest bathroom in the foyer, all of the items here, I believe, came from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods as well. Um, the plant here, this one, I believe, came from TJ Maxx. And then the washcloths, again, all of these items were something that I already had. Uh, it was a set that I bought to refresh the bathroom that I split in half and put half the towels over here because I just wanted to cross pollinate the colors. I thought they matched the bathroom so perfectly. Um, the lantern is something that I've already had. I had it for a few years. I can't remember where I got it from. Um, you'll notice that the little box, the little box pictures that I have, I've got a couple of those. Those came from Home Goods. I believe this uh, Provence lavender candle came from TJ Maxx. The vase came from Home Goods. The candle holders came from Michaels. And this candle holder, everyone knows where that came from, the Dollar Tree. tuning in. I hope you enjoy the floating wall shelf decor ideas. Three different bathrooms, three different looks. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'd also appreciate it if you left me a comment because I'd love to hear from you. And I'd also appreciate a thumbs up. Now at the end of this video, you'll see a couple video links. Click one of those links to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!